Hey everyone, so in last lecture we talked about probability mass function and cumulative distribution function. Today we are going to talk about probability density function and cumulative distribution function. Okay, now this we study when we are having or when we are playing with continuous random variable. In last lecture when we talked about PMF and CDF that, that we play when we have a discrete random variable. So when we have a discrete random variable or a continuous random variable, we want to study the probability distribution of this random variable and we want to study the probability distribution. I mean, that means how the probability is distributed, then these things comes into picture. Okay, now let's recall. Well, you can find the link in the description for the earlier lecture. So what was PMS probability mass function? So F is said to be probability mass function if it is non negative. And summation of f probabilities is 1. Okay, what is your f of x? f of x is nothing but probability that the random variable x takes the value small x. So x is going from minus infinity to infinity. Okay, and the third thing is if you want to find the probability between any two points, you simply sum up the probabilities. So this is a definition, and this is how you find the probability. That was one thing, and you can also represent it as graphically. So suppose this is the range set of x and then you have the probabilities for each of them, right? So this is how you draw the diagram. This is what you have seen. Another way was the histogram. So you just take the midpoint of length 1. So this is what the probability distribution is. So you can also look the probability distribution as the areas of this rectangle because the length is 1 and height is nothing but the probability. So areas of this rectangle is nothing but the probability distribution for each of these random variables. Now we are in continuous case. Continuous case as in what? Now you have a continuous random variable. That means here you don't have this discretization. What you have is this continuation. You have a continuation. That means the range set is an interval or segment, line segment. So obviously the probability distribution will no more this discrete. It will be a continuous case. So if this is the range set of x, then you won't have such thing. You have some continue because for each thing you have the probability. So you have such a curve, right? And now if I want to find the probability between two numbers. So here it was again, if I want to find from x1 to say whatever x4. You simply sum x f of x1 plus f of x2 plus f of x3 plus f of x4. Now here you cannot sum because it takes infinitely many values. So what is the continuous version of summation? So here you had infinite summation. And if you recall a little bit of calculus, the continuous version of infinite summation is nothing but the integration. Okay. So here that changes. So here also you want to find area under the curve. So definitely integration has to come into the picture. So integration from A to B f of x dx is nothing but the probability that the random variable x will take the value between A and B. Okay. So now how does the definition goes for probability density function? The first condition is same. The function has to be negative, non-negative. And the second thing is this infinite summation goes away. Your integration minus infinity to infinity dx. This should be one. So if you have a function that satisfies this two condition, then we say such a function to be a PDF probability density function. And this is how here if you want to find between two points you used to sum it up because here you had a discretization. Now you have a continuation. So it is integration from xm to xn because x is taking all real values from xm to xn. So this is nothing but f of x dx. So using this formula one finds the probability distribution for a continuous random variable. So this comes under the definition and this is the way or the formula to find the PDF. Now little bit of digression over here. Uh, have you seen such kind of thing earlier? Most, for most of them answer should be yes. Because most of you might have studied Laplace transform. And when you study Laplace transform after unit step function, you study a very nice function which we call as a direct delta function. Okay, link you can find in the description if you are not able to recall. So what was the direct delta function? Everywhere it is zero and at one point it is infinite. So it is non-negative. And integration minus infinity to infinity of the direct delta function is one. So the direct delta function is a particular case of a PDF. Okay, so just, just recall it up. Okay, and link is there in the description. 
okay so we have seen pdf and now the same thing comes for the cdf so how did we define cdf for a discrete random variable it was f of x s summation you take all possible values before this x so t less equal x and, and now you know what is the continuous version for summation it is integration so for uh, this continuous random variable it is defined as integration all values less equal x so minus infinity to x f of t dt so this is nothing but your cdf for continuous random variable okay now few simple observation now if you observe what is f of b minus f of a what will be f of b it will give me so this is my suppose a this is my b what is f of b minus infinity so this is the a, uh, graph for the probability distribution then f of b is minus infinity to b it is this area under the curve and f of a is integration minus infinity to a so that is this area under the curve so when i subtract what will i get i will get area under this much curve so this is nothing but integration a to b f of t dt and this is nothing but again probability that x will take the value from a to b so this is one nice relation between the cumulative distribution function and the pro probability density function and again from here if you recall fundamental theorem of calculus your f is nothing but the anti derivative that means your f of x is nothing but the derivative of your cumulative distribution function okay so your probability density function is nothing but the derivative of cumulative distribution function so wherever it is differentiable okay wherever there is a discontinuity you will ignore those points so these are the two nice properties that capital f follows okay that was one thing another thing that uh, i would like you to observe is why we are not calling here pmf like earlier we had PD pmf for discrete for continuous why that pmf won't work here you need dense i mean here the real numbers you have which is a dense in nature that's why the name density mass there you evaluate the probability at each point in discrete case because you can discretize the range space x1 x2 so at each point you can find the probability can you do that over here no here at each point you can't do that therefore that probability distribution table which we drew in the last lecture we can't do here why so like uh, see like there is a line segment so and there are, this is uncountably infinite many numbers the probability that the random variable will take a single value will always be zero right because this is an infinite thing and probability it will take one value is always zero or if i want to give you another motivation like what is the length of this interval if i call this as a b let me call this as some point c what is the length of a b it is b minus a what is the length of c a point c the length of a point is always zero so if you take a point in continuous case its probability will always be zero okay so there's one difference over here here pmf won't work okay another thing is in last lecture i told you that in pmf each point matters now here even if i remove this equality sign if i say a x strictly greater than a less equal b still this is same as probability of a less equal x less equal b this is also same as probability of a less equal x strictly less than b this is further also same as probability of a strictly less than x strictly less than b why so because ultimately you are doing integration if you have two functions which is same everywhere except at one point still their integration is same why so because integration at a single point is always zero i mean when you integrate from a to a what is it is zero right so therefore since when you are in a continuous case all these four quantities are same whereas in discrete case it matters if it's non zero so this is another small observation that in so people usually get students usually get confused here they are very casual oh they don't worry about less equal or greater equal they don't worry about the equality sign and the same thing they apply for pmf and their their marks goes off okay so be careful at this point okay so now i have told you enough of the thing 
uh, I told you graphically as well. So if you want to find probability from A to B, you simply integrate that part and cumulative will give you all this area up to that point. So minus infinity to A, it will give you complete area. Okay. And again, the same results holds here, which hold there. Limit X going to infinity, capital F of X will be one and limit X going to minus infinity, capital F of X will go to zero. Okay. So these things uh, obeys here as well. Okay, so we're done with the theory part. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Now let me take a couple of examples. So in this case, a PDF is given to you. Your job is to find the value of K. Now we know it's a PDF. Therefore, integration minus infinity to infinity F of X will be one, right? But now it is split it zero to one. So I can split this as minus infinity to zero plus zero to one plus one to infinity. But otherwise it is zero. So only thing remain is integration zero to one f of x, which is k root x dx. This is equal to one, right? Minus infinity to zero and one to infinity over there. The function is taking the value zero. Okay. Zero to one. This is the value of your PDF and otherwise it is zero. And now I think you can easily solve this. This is your k outside. This is what x raised to three by two upon three by two. Zero to one. This is one. So therefore there's nothing but your k is nothing but 3 by 2. Just check my calculations. If it is wrong, you can correct me in the comment section. So your k is what? It is nothing but for this to be a PDF, your k has to 3 by 2. Okay, good. Now what is the next thing? I want to evaluate the probability from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. So we know that this is nothing but integration 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. Your function 3 by 2 root x dx. And I think now you are mature enough to solve this. Okay. If you have time, you can just comment the answer in the comment section for the first problem. Okay. Now let's go for second problem. So here is the second example. PDF is given to you. So from one to three, it is taking the constant value half and zero otherwise. You have to show that area under the curve is one. Well, that's obvious. You can do this calculation wise. Okay. So how will you do calculation wise? You just take integration minus infinity to infinity f of x and you need to show that that is one, but you can now split at one and three. So minus infinity to one plus one to three plus three to infinity, but minus infinity to one function is zero, three to infinity function is zero. And here it is one by two and the limit is one to three. You solve answer is one. Or you can see this graphically as well. So from one to three, the value is half and it is zero everywhere. What is the area? It's nothing but the area under the, rect the area of the rectangle, length into breadth, two into one by two, answer is one. Okay, so that was one thing. Now let's go for the second part. Again, now I think if you have understood till now, the second part is, one dif is not difficult. This is integration two to two point five f of x dx and this is 1 by 2 will come outside this is 1 by 4 0 0.25 and now x is greater than 1.6 so what you can do this is 1 minus probability x is less equal 1.6 right so what is this 1 minus integration minus infinity to 1.6 but everywhere it is 0 till 1 so integration 1 to 1 1.6 f of x dx and you solve, you get the final answer. So problems are easy to solve. Just one should understand what these things mean. Okay. Now let me give you one homework problem. So here is a third example, which is a homework problem. So in a lab, there is some equipment for which the density function of the observed outcome, outcome is given by this zero to one. It is this function two into one minus X. Otherwise it is zero. You have to tell me what is the probability for X less equal one by three probability that x will exceed 0.5 given that x is greater or equal 0.5 what is the probability that random variable probability that the random variable will take the value less than 0.5 so just pause this video take a notebook and pen and try to solve this problem if you get stuck just see some solved examples from your textbooks and still if you have doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will be more than happy to answer that so yeah, I hope this is clear. If you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section. If not, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.